What if it turns out that mom was right and you are actually the most important person in the world? And if that turned out to be the case, it would totally fit with our feeling of ourselves in relation to everyone else. Because think about it, which body do you feel as warm, sensitive? To which body are you in tune with its every need? Only your own. Which body do you worry that it's safe first, that it receives pleasure first? If we become sensitive to how we were built to feel by nature, we see that by comparison, everyone else in the world is relatively unreal. At other times, or sometimes simultaneously, I feel the opposite, that I'm actually the most irrelevant person in reality, or at least that I'm equally irrelevant to all other people in the world who don't wield tremendous power. Meaning, in terms of my ability to make stuff happen in the world, to really impact reality, my powers pale in comparison to the great forces of nature like the ocean, gravity. I'm relatively weak in terms of being able to impact others. And sometimes we feel that if we were to disappear right now, how long would it actually take before pretty much everyone forgot about me? Unless I invent some world-changing technology or start some kind of revolution, but that's pretty unlikely for most of us, so thus we remain this sort of walking contradiction. That on the one hand, I feel exactly like my mom said, that according to feeling, I'm the most important part of this whole reality. I feel my organs, I feel my body as warm, I can pinch myself and feel it that it hurts. But if I do things to stuff that's outside of me, if I touch a wall, if I touch a fish, a tree, I don't feel what they feel. I can try to imagine it, but the only thing I really feel is myself. At the same time, unless you're some kind of king, you feel yourselves pretty insignificant in terms of being able to actually make changes in the world, for better or otherwise. But the wisdom of Kabbalah teaches a person how he can feel himself as the center point, the most impactful point of all of reality, not in an egoistic way, but in a way that he positively influences the world with his every thought and action. Every particle of reality is actually all connected to you. Every fish, every tree, every rock, every planet, every person is actually being impacted by me in this moment by the internal example that I'm setting with all of my thoughts and actions. My internal actions, desires, intentions, thoughts are influencing everybody like brainwashing that you don't even know is happening to you, but it's controlling you from the inside. They receive this internal example based on what I'm doing internally. And you can learn to do this consciously. The thing is you need to learn what are the templates, what are the examples that I should be setting internally, influencing everyone with them, that could actually improve the world. By which you can elevate everyone, the whole reality, and thus elevate yourself as well. One who does this feels himself as the center of reality, the one who is influencing it all internally and powerfully changing reality. And by this, he literally becomes the most important person in the world, just like he always suspected he was.